No bed, no shelter. It's the same story over and over again for more than 2,000 women in Chicago. They're homeless. But the nonprofit Sarah's Circle is working to eliminate homelessness one woman at a time. This is my kitchen area. I have my refrigerator, my stove. June Merritt is celebrating four years since she was forced to live on the streets. This is now home, a permanent apartment at Sarah's Place. The growing uptown agency, now in its 40th year, provides a safe refuge for women in need of housing and life necessities. It's been a relief uh, when you're in a situation of being homeless. You have a lot of weights on you and you tend to worry what you're going to eat. Uh, how you're going to wash your clothes. June became homeless after taking care of her parents and losing all her money. She's one of nearly 800 women Sarah's Place helps yearly. Majority of this stuff is donated. From Chef Lee Moore runs Bobby the Moore. kitchen at Sarah's, making sure everyone gets a meal. We serve bag lunches uh, every, every Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. Who's allowed in? Any woman. We have no barriers. Any, any, anybody that identifies as a woman, we have no barriers to our services. And in this daytime program, we have women from every zip code in the city of Chicago. And if a bed is open in our 50-bed program, it's filled immediately. Kathy Ragnar is the executive director here, and her role will soon be expanding. Thanks to a generous donation, Sarah's Circle broke ground earlier this week on a new facility. It's life-changing. And seeing, seeing the impact of when we move those women in upstairs, you just say, let's do this again. The new space called Sarah's on Sheridan will provide interim housing services and 38 units of additional permanent housing. I'm excited for the new ladies that's coming in. I know that they are going to have a safe, clean place to stay. 60% of the Sarah Circle's budget comes from private donations. If you'd like to help, head to sarahcircle.org. They also accept donations. Many are in need of socks and underwear. And this was started by three women in Uptown back in the 70s when they just rented an apartment to get women off the streets during the day.